take questions for Draymond. Over there in the middle, Robert, on three. Come on, Earl. Float. Draymond, Robert Littow, uh, BSO. What does this say about this team, the, the fact that you guys went through all of this and still was able to get it to a, a game six? You know, how, does, how do you feel about your teammates, about the team, the five-year journey, and just kind of encapsulating all of that into, you know, what's happening right now? Uh, I mean, feel great, you know, to go to war with those guys every single night. Um, you know, through through everything we went through this year. Uh, it's, you know, you look at some of the stuff that's going on, and it's like, oh, that was two years ago. No, that was like five months ago, you know, seven months ago, two months ago. Like, everything this team has been through, I'm extremely proud of the guys. Uh, you know, the way we fought, um, you know, it's great. But... You know, we lost. There's no moral victories. Uh, you know, congratulations to Toronto. Uh, they, you know, they played a great series, and um, you know, they deserve to win. Nick, back here on the left. Draymond, Nick Friedel, ESPN. Just following up on that, how much solace are you guys able to take now and maybe in the months ahead at the way in which you fought in these last few games, short, as shorthanded as you were with KD and Clay and everybody battling injuries? I mean, you know, obviously you feel good about it, um, but, you know, it's no shocker to us. You know, we know what this team has been made of all along, and I've said it over and over again. Uh, you know, the, the pretty offense will always be the storyline, uh, but this team, you know, ton of heart. You know, everybody who stepped on that floor uh, display a ton of heart. So, um, you know, it's no shocker to us that we continue to fight, but like I said, we came up a little short. That's, that's just it. Third row in the center, CJ. CJ Peterson, the San Francisco Examiner. Draymond, Steve said earlier that, you know, just considering all the injuries you guys faced, he was, you know, shocked you guys were in this position, you know, able to, you know, you guys' wherewithal and be able to come back and do all this. Considering all that, do you guys think you guys maybe left some opportunities out there, like eight missed free throws, obviously the shot at the end of the game where Steph didn't hit it. Do you guys think you guys maybe left some stuff out there tonight? Yeah, I think every game you leave something out there. You know, I don't think anyone leaves any game and feel like you you did everything you could have possibly done to the T. You know, that's just a part of what, you know, the game that we play. Obviously, the, the missed free throws, um, you know, they, they usually come back and bite you. Uh, and they probably did, but there were several things that went on throughout the course of this game. Uh, which is why we lost. So, you know, I think I can look at every loss in my career and every win and nitpick. End of the day, we lost. So, it's all that matters. Next, seat over. Yeah, uh, Draymond, Jeff Ferrado, Bay Area News Group. Can you talk about uh, Clay Thompson's performance, what you saw when he went down, and just how much it hurt you guys to not have him the rest of the game? Oh, I mean, well, you know, when, without Clay, uh, it's tough. You know, it takes some shooting off the floor, uh, you know, so spacing is not quite there. Um, obviously, one of our best defenders, um, you know, and probably a guy that got the most hard on his team. You know, he, you know it's not really the most popular opinion, but, you know, as a guy who's been with Clay for seven years, I don't know many people with as much heart as Clay. So, you know, the way he was playing, as aggressive as he was, uh, you know, he was he was carrying us. And, you know, when he went down, obviously, you know, it's, we lose a lot. Uh, but when he came back out of the tunnel, did you know it was just to shoot the free throws or did you think Clay's coming back and he's going to play some more? Oh, I knew it was just to shoot the free throws. Um, but also with Clay, he would if they would have let him stay out there, he would have stayed. That's just who he is. You see, he try to run back down the floor. Like, what are you doing? Um, but <laughs> as Clay, how many people is going to play with a hamstring injury? No one. Like, no one does that. So uh, that's just who he is, man. That guy is. I, he's a warrior, and obviously that's you know no pun intended with that, but. It's no other way to describe him. Uh, you know, he's going to give everything he got every time he step on the floor. And even some things that he don't have, uh, which is health. He was going to try to give him more. That's just who he is. Um, 
That's why we love them. Steve on the right side, fourth row. Uh, Steve Ashburn, NBA.com. There's been an end of the run air to a lot of the coverage and, and discussion even tonight. But some version of you guys is going to show up in the fall and step back out on the court. Um, will you be dragging an accumulation of wear and tear? What do you expect is next for, for your group? Yeah, I think uh, everybody thinks it's kind of end of us. That's just not smart. Uh, <laughs> we're not done yet. Uh, you know, we, we lost this year. Clearly, it just wasn't our year. Uh, you know, but it's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. But yeah. You know, I hear a lot of that noise. It's the end of a run and all that jazz. I don't see it happening, though. We'll be back. Final two questions in the front and then in the back here. Draymond, Trista Crick, USA Today. Just to go back on Clay, I don't know. I'd just be curious to know if you know this. Did you know he was uh, doing jumping jacks in the tunnel and trying to run back and forth? No, I didn't, but it's, it does not shock me one bit. Uh, you know, Clay is, he's crazy, uh, to say the least. You know, he is going, he loved to play basketball, and no matter what he's got, he's going to try to be out there on the floor. So, um, it's not shocking at all. And I'm sure he tried to get back out there on the floor, and they just would not let him. And so... You know, it sucks. Obviously, we're praying that everything is okay. Um, but that's a tough one. Last question, back right. Hey, Draymond, Rick Tittle with 95.7 The Game and Sports Byline. Knowing that if you got another T, you were going to miss potential game seven, did you adjust your game at all? Was it on your mind, or did you just play the same you always do? No, it wasn't on my mind. Um, I'm not an idiot. I know that I can't get another T, so I'm not really going to flirt that line. Uh, you know, I think, you know, if you look at, uh, you know, this entire year, um, there was a lot of noise about players and officiating and the back and forth. And, and I think over the course of the last eight to ten weeks, that all has been cleaned up, uh, you know, from both sides. Offici officials, I think, were a lot better in communicating with us. And I think players... Um, in turn showed the same respect uh, to those guys. So, um, you know, I had a, some conversations with officials today, and but, you know, that's allowed. Uh, I think, you know, there's kind of this narrative of we don't work together. We all work together to put a great product out there on the floor uh, and represent um, this league the way we all want it to be represented as we all are part of the makeup of this league. So, um, you know, I had conversations with officials, but yeah, I'm, I'm far from dumb as people think I am. Uh, you know, I'm, I know I control myself a tad, just a little bit. Thank you, Draymond. Appreciate all y'all this year. Uh, it's been great. You know, y'all have done a great job of helping grow this game. So thanks to everything y'all do for everything y'all do. Thank you.